1937, uh, late Mr. Hirotaka Arai started to, uh, to found a company. He was a son of a hat manufacturer in Japan. And he was a fanatic motorcyclist himself. At that time, there were not a lot of helmet brands available on the, on the Japanese market. So he started to make a helmet for his own protection. And uh, that is still part of the DNA within the Arai company. When we produce a helmet or develop a helmet, uh, we always ask ourselves the question, is that a product that we would be wearing ourselves? And if you look at the many models that we offer today, the answer is obviously yes. Arai is, uh, is fully independent. It's, it's owned by the Arai uh, family uh, already for three generations. The helmet is the only item in the racing car which is not protected by the car, but it's looking out of the cockpit. You have still items flying around in the air, so penetration and also impact onto the helmet is one of the highest risks of the F1 car or an open cockpit car at all, I would say. 50% of the Formula One field is using RI helmets. made sure Sebastian got his first, I think it was a GP4 or something like that, type helmet and he raced with it, with it as a karting junior and he still uses Sarai as a Formula One world champion. A lot of the experiences which come from F1 go also to the research and development. For instance, the carbon helmet, which a lot of classes are using now, this all has been developed in Formula One in the past for five, six years. So there is a onward process, ongoing process of developing things further and further and getting better also for the commercial product. The helmet each Formula One driver uses is off the shelf like any helmet any customer can buy in the world. The typical round and smooth array outer shell offers several important advantages. It reduces the rotational forces during an impact and it offers better aerodynamic properties. The shell is not larger than it needs to be, again increasing the performance of our helmet. The RX-7 GP and also the RX-7 RC carbon version are the only helmets in the world that meet and exceed both standards, the ECE 2205 and Snell M2010. We have developed our own standard, what we call the Arai in-house standard. All the helmets that we produce should meet or exceed our own standard and not only the minimum requirements in each country or continent. For the Arai in-house standard, we test not only at fixed points like EC, but also at random on a larger area. Besides testing, researching actual crashed helmets from road and track is an important part of our development program. We use these data to improve the performance of our helmets. When you use an, an RI helmet, it comes with a full package of all the support that you need as a user. That means that if you have any problems with your helmet during the five years that we guarantee that you can use that helmet, you obviously need to have the, the knowledge at the dealer and also the spare parts available. 
we have all the spare parts available at least up to seven years uh, after we stopped production of a particular model. Very nice to see you, especially when they have 40 customers. That's the point. We try to help people and that's why we are technicians and we are for helping. We have here uh, what we call the Arai Inspiration Center. And in this center uh, we test a lot of helmets, uh, new products that we are developing. But we also use it for training of staff. That can be uh, dealers, that can be first aid people, uh, officials, marshals from circuits, for instance. An emergency release uh, system offers the possibility to take out uh, the cheek pads from a helmet. And this obviously gives more space inside the helmet. So in case of an impact, in case of a crash, marshals or first aid personnel are able to take off the helmet from someone's head without using force to the head. In the paint shop that we have available here at Arai Europe, um, we uh, do obviously make helmets, special requests uh, from consumers that want to have their own, uh, their own design on their helmets. Uh, we use it also for uh, repairing damaged helmets and uh, we have a lot of racers that we supply with helmets that want to have their own design. The simple truth is, you can choose from many helmets, but there is only one Arai.